In this tutorial, I will explain what the basic modulation types are and what chirp spread spectrum is. Modulation means how analog or digital information are encoded onto a carrier signal. When analog information are encoded onto a carrier signal, three modulation types can be used. Amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, and phase modulation. When digital information are encoded onto a carrier signal, three modulation types can be used. Amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, and phase shift keying. As mentioned earlier, an end node has a radio module. This radio module has a modulator which encodes information onto a carrier signal. This modulated signal is transmitted and received by a gateway. The gateway also has a radio module. This radio module has a demodulator which decodes the modulated signal and extracts the information. The communication between the end node and gateway is bidirectional, which means the end node can send data to the gateway, but it can also receive data from the gateway. If a device can both transmit and receive signals, this device is also called a transceiver. LoRa end nodes and gateways are transceivers. Now let's focus on modulating digital values onto a carrier signal. In this example, we have a digital message which we want to encode on this carrier signal. There are three basic modulation types amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying, and phase shift keying. When we use amplitude shift keying, only the amplitude changes. As you can see, the amplitude is here 3, and here the amplitude is 1.5. In this example, if the amplitude is 3, then it represents a digital 1, and when the amplitude is 1.5, it is a digital 0. When we use frequency shift keying, only the frequency changes. The signal here has a higher frequency than the signal here. This particular signal represents a digital 1, and this particular signal represents a digital zero. And when we use phase shift keying, only the phase changes. As you can clearly see, the phase of this signal is different than the phase of this signal. For example, when the signal has this phase, it represents digital one, and when the signal has this phase, it represents digital zero. Besides the three basic modulation types, there are many other modulation types. LoRa is a proprietary spread spectrum modulation scheme that is based on chirp spread spectrum modulation. Chirp spread spectrum is a spread spectrum technique that uses wideband linear frequency modulated chirp pulses to encode information. Let's focus on the words spread spectrum technique and chirp. Spread spectrum techniques are methods by which a signal is deliberately spread in the frequency domain. For example, a signal is transmitted in short bursts, hopping between frequencies in a pseudo-random sequence. This is already explained in tutorial 11. And the chirp, often called a sweep signal, is a tone in which the frequency increases or decreases with time. If the frequency increases in time, it is called an up chirp, and when it decreases in time, it is called a down chirp. Here's an example of an up chirp where the frequency increases in time. Another way to visualize it, the lowest frequency is over here, the highest frequency is over here. The frequency increases in time. When the maximum frequency is reached, it jumps back to its lowest frequency, and the process starts all over again. This is the up chirp. The down chirp is the inverse of the up chirp. It starts with its highest frequency and the frequency decreases with time. And when the lowest frequency is reached, it jumps back to its highest frequency and the process starts all over again. These chirp signals are used as carrier signals where a message is encoded on. Here is an actual LoRa modulated signal. This is the start of the message, and here is the encoded message. 
you can easily recognize the start of a message. It is a number of up chirps followed by two down chirps. Here is another LoRa modulated signal example. This is the start of the message, a number of up chirps followed by two down chirps, and here is the encoded message. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.